Hello, I'm Dr. Ann Carlisle, sometimes known as Dr. Ann. I'm very appreciative that you completed my survey and I'll be back to you with another video soon after I get the results tabulated. What I want to give you today is a mini lesson about communication in, an, uh, in a way that is essential to your making your relationships ever better. The reason why I want to teach you this skill is what I've seen in 30 some years of counseling couples and families is I've seen people on the verge of divorce, on the verge of really, really hurting one another. I have seen the divorces actually happen because they didn't ever know how to deal with getting their needs met. It's very important because it, it helps you learn how you can take charge when you're in a situation with someone you care about where everything starts going south and you recognize you're starting to really get reactive and you feel like shouting or rushing out of there or crying or hollering. It's very important to have this skill. I call the, I call the process stop look and listen. Very simple. The first part, stop, is for you to learn and become attuned to what's going on with you when suddenly that shock comes when somebody that you care about, that you're with, has said something that really, really upsets you. So you stop and take a deep breath so you can recover your groundedness and maybe even relax. A typical behavior that people have when they are triggered is, can be really, really dramatic. Yell and scream, go suddenly silent, or actually leave in a huff. It's bad. Relationships will not get resolved with the reactivity involved. Step two is the next part. Once you've been able to calm yourself and ground yourself, even though you might be of heightened awareness, please look softly at the other person with curiosity, with warmth if you can, to find out who is this person and what is going on in their world. I really don't get it. So you say, could, could you please help me understand why you said that? I don't understand what that's about. Then you be silent and give them plenty of space to talk. Do your best to not interrupt at all, except to say, is there more? The third step is, listen, it's a huge skill and so powerful. If you learn to listen, to learn about what that person's world is like, you're going to be way ahead of most of the population of the world in being able to stop a crisis from happening in your relationship. So the recap here is stop, look, and listen is a simple tool for you to learn and practice being able to get grounded and looking at and making it safe for the other person to share what's going on and then for you to listen and really understand. There's some wisdom from Stephen Covey. It's beautiful. Seek first to understand, and then to be understood. Then you'll be a hero to whoever it is. This takes courage and uh, determination to be present for another person. Most of us are pretty selfish at the bottom of it all. And this is a selfless and conscious way, a much higher conscious way of listening to another person. And it makes them feel like you care about them. It connects you. I hope that will prove really useful and helpful to you. This is Dr. Ann Carlisle signing off. Please watch for my next video. It will contain the results of the survey and some new information about relationships.